Erin. I wanted to share with you the new website editing software Deal Reboot. I always purchase the SEO or the website related software and this seems awesome to try for my sites. So I got it right away. What is Reboot? Reboot is not a hosting company. Drag and drop website builder? No, it's a website editing software. You click each element and editing sizes, texts, adding animation and some other great features in it. Before I jump into the software, I want to point out a few more things. If you use the DB theme or drag and drop other plugins or themes, you may think it's a similar functioning software. If you have an experience using the CSS Hero to your WordPress sites, it will work the same. This two software seems a brother or sister. If you don't use the CSS Hero or any other website editing software, you really want to check this out. What you're seeing on the screen, this is my WordPress site. So I do have a bunch of different the PPN sites. I am using the WordPress for my client sites as well. Um, I'm going to show you by using the Reboot to editing my WordPress sites. This is the desktop version software. So you just need to download the software to your computer and then run the software. In order to create your project, click that and enter website URL, which is going to be and the project name will be site. Hit create. As you can see, here is my website and these are the where you can click it and you can start to editing your website. Restyler, let me go ahead and click any elements, this one right here. Here's a text, I'm going to click that. I can change a font, so I can see everything in real time, how the phones look like. If I want to change to different sizes, I can do change to 80, line height, letter sizing, the word spacing. So text, the decoration, and this is where you can change a line and transform to uppercase or lowercase. And we have shadow, click on the editor to create the shadow. As you can see, the text of shadow is to show immediately and the blur. And let's go to the background. If you want to change this section background, you can go ahead and change the color. If you want to add an image, by clicking it, you can add your image URL or you can go ahead and click this, the image library. I'm gonna add a thank you. And there are a bunch of different thank you related the images showing here. So I'm gonna click this random one, for example, this one here. Here's the margin. Here's a border, solid boulder. And here's a color, the border radius. Here's sizes with sizes we have our the automatic and box shadow here's a blur there you go and here's the setting when you click on this gear button the settings you can turn on the apply to all pages use css important rules and if you want to delete this section you can go ahead and click this the delete button and hoover f this is a grow, shrink, pulse, add this pulse here. They have a bunch of different ones. In this HTML editor, so if you are familiar with the HTML editor, you can just edit the HTML code in here. Entry animation. Click the image right here, fade in and fade out. But let me just go ahead and choose a flip up. Okay, I'm gonna play it again. You can change a different speed. And you can also set up to disable on mobile or not. I'm gonna exit. And the next part is going to be CSS filter. Blur. Action on click. So I'm gonna click this one and you can add a URL, image pop-up, YouTube pop-up, video pop-ups, or the JavaScript. Okay, ribbons. I'm gonna add this ribbon. To this image right here. The size is in four different sizes, smaller or uh, they have bigger size and the medium size. Top right or the bottom left. So you can add the ribbon and anywhere you want. And you can change up the color to like this. And social share. So I'm going to enable it. Can also display to the different place and to, to the left, to the right, top, or bottom.
Now the next one is going to be scroll to talk. So it's very simple. Just click on enable it and you're going to see this the button. Cookie law. The color scheme is a honeybee so you can change the different colors like we have a blue, purple ones, nuclear color. Okay. The, and you can customize the position, bottom, top. You can change the message. Next one is going to be the typewriter. Go ahead and click one of the elements. It's like a typing feature. So I'm going to have more faster. Well, that's too fast. And the next one is going to be the image banner. So you can add an image on the bottom side or the top side. You can add any images if you want to. Next one, the last one is going to be snow. As you can see, the number of flakes I can increase to up to 500. That's going to be kind of crazy. I'm going to click on save first and click on this show preview. On the preview mode, you can see the desktop, tablet, phone, and custom and close buttons on the top to these the tablets, phone, or the custom uh, the button to make it more decrease the width of the size. I'm going to show you how you can connect Reboot software to your websites. So I'm going to click this. This is the code that you need to copy and paste into your website's header. This is my backend WordPress website. So as you can see, I'm using the plugin. It's named the insert headers and footers. Uh, this is a free plugin that you can use it if you want to add anything, any codes to your website. So I'm going to paste the code in here and save it. Now it's been saved, so let's go back to the reboot, reload and check to see if the website and reboot software has been connected. Here is the button publish changes. This is the final the step that you need to click it, make it publish. This is my website right now. I didn't refresh the website, so as you can see, it looks just normal and nothing very special actually. You don't see any snowflakes and some ribbons. Now I have refreshed the page. You can see the snowflakes on the background and that design has been added. This is Hoover FX and that was the CSS filters. That's a typewriter, cookie law in the image. This is a social share button. Everything seems added correctly on my website. I'm using the DV theme for my WordPress sites. This theme comes with the easy editor tool for the design, but if you use the free WordPress design theme that doesn't have the easy editor tool, you want to try out this reboot software at one time cost deal. If you like this video, please thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel so you can watch other new software launch and, and a special price. Thank you so much for watching my video.